Hey internet friend, Magic Brad here, Asheville, North Carolina. I'm just kind of hanging out down here by the river, and uh, sometimes you got to just get away from the old laptop and the computer and get out into nature, I guess. So, I've got some things I've been thinking about. Some of it is kind of a rant, but not really. Um, and here goes. Uh, so, I see people out there on the internet, and they're talking about making money and, and how they want to help people. And uh, they want to sponsor people into their organization. And I notice that as soon as they get you sponsored in and connected digitally, they kind of just leave. And they're not really, do they really want to help people or do they just want to really build their bank account? So um, I remember a video I saw is about stop marketing and start a movement. It was more about helping people that uh, Suzanne Evans did a while ago and I was just talking to my wife about it but it got me thinking about all these people I mean all these people the, the, the things that I see on the internet it's all about money making a lot of money and it got me thinking how much money do you really need other than your food and shelter for survival then uh, everything else is really for your own ego um you want to feed your family and things of that sort, I understand. But how much money do you actually need? And it got me thinking of uh, some of these people that are out there on the Internet. They are posing like they're making lots of lots of money. And it just doesn't, the math just doesn't seem right. Because um, I, I see some people on the Internet. I'm Basically, I'm on <laughs> the Internet a lot. But I notice that, that they're not really there at certain times, and there's, there's a surge. And the surge happens to take place around lunchtime in their area, or around 4, 5, 6 o'clock when they get off work. Now, they're not saying that they're at work. They're saying that they're making their living on the Internet, and they're making thousands and thousands of dollars on the Internet. But then why do they still have a job, a day job? I mean, <laughs> sometimes you, when you watch real close, you see this stuff slip through, that people are really working jobs. So, um, come on, people, don't uh, be saying that you're living an independent lifestyle when you really have that job still. And I'm not knocking people having jobs, but I think they're kind of just posing. And so, some people can make a living at this, but how much do you really need when people are talking about making $30,000 in a month? You know, that's almost enough for a year for some people. So the idea is really to help other people. Um, I'm, I'm in a program right now where I'm uh, sort of an orphan, <laughs> where I don't really have a sponsor, and I kind of put it out there that uh, I was looking for someone to get me involved with a program and um, nobody really even paid any attention to it. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why. I don't think they really picked up on what I was trying to communicate. Um, <laughs> another thing that I'm finding very interesting is I've got a, I've got a database of about, in miscellaneous groups, 6,000 to 10,000 people that are on my newsletter, and I put things out in different places. So I've got I got about, I think about seven different newsletters for different purposes. And combined, there's a whole bunch of people. So, um, also I'm uh, involved with a lot of different groups that are via the internet. And I've seen some people that are trying to put information out about their cause. They might have some kind of nonprofit or something like that they're raising funds for, or they just want to create awareness. And I made the offer to multiple people <laughs> to to help them put it out there. And then all of a sudden, they disappear. And I'm wondering, do they really want to get that message out into the world? There's a lot of people, I believe, that are saying they want to get this message out, but they're just hiding in their own thing. And it's kind of like the Marianne Williamson thing, who are you to be, I don't remember how it goes, but I think if you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about. But I think a lot of people are playing small. And I'm not saying it's, it's hard to play big. It's really, just put it out there. 
the internet gives you access to people all over the entire world and it's just a matter of putting it out there and if there's an ear to hear they'll listen to what you have to say but there's so many people that aren't putting it out there and I, I oftentimes put too much stuff out there like I'm putting this out there right now and I don't know who's going to see it who's going to hear it who's going to listen to it who's going to interact with it are you going to click that link that is attached to this somehow are you going to give me a call are you going to Skype me are you going to connect with me and see how we can maybe collaborate and make the world a better place one person at a time will you do that <laughs> or will you just click this and like that and link to that and click this and post that um, if it doesn't matter I mean if you've got a, uh, a stable job or income and you're just doing things you're on social media and you're just chatting and stuff and you're not looking to do something bigger like uh, feed starving children or help people with diseases or if you're just looking to make money then I guess there's no point in <laughs> just keep making money I don't know I'm kind of going nowhere with this but I uh, just had to get out and enjoy the scenery and get out by the, the water and nature and enjoy my life so that's enough for me I'm gonna go post this on YouTube peace love and happiness from me to you enjoy Peace, love, and happiness. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>